Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna see how the dual cores work. As you know, you can use a dual core independently. Let's take a look at the official example of how it actually works. Uh, there's one more thing. There is a new development tool called Arduino Pro ID is in progress. Let's see how we can use this as well. All links used in this video are in the below description. I'm downloading the 0.0.6 alpha of the Arduino Pro IDE. I hope it works well. The Arduino Classic IDE is actually very, very old fashioned. Visual Studio Code is generally used these days. It's convenient and extensional, so everyone seems to prefer the VS Code. I'm not sure, but because it's difficult to develop further in the class version of the ID, Arduino IDE, uh, it seems to be making a new version uh, called Pro IDE. Um, installation is complete. Uh, let me open the new one. Verifying downloaded the Arduino Pro IDE from Mac OS, and it's asking me to confirm you really want to open this. Yes, I want it. Here we are, looks very modern and very trendy. I think it's a dark mode now. Because my current system is dark mode, it seems to be set to dark theme automatically. Go to settings and open the preferences. Let's change the font size of the editor. I will uh, change to the right theme to make the letters more visible on the screen. Go to settings and color theme there. Uh, basically, it has four types of themes. I choose the right there. Here you are. And I need bigger font size, so go to the editor, font size, click to add an item. It looks like the preferences of the VS Code. The left screen is for the global options and the right screen is for the user's environment. Now it looks much better. Let's take a look at the left side menu. It has two icons. First one is for the board manager and the second one is for the library manager. The available library loading is very fast perhaps because I didn't register for the additional libraries or I think this is because it indexed in advance when it's starting. Uh, I'm not sure yet. Let's add a Portina HCM board from the uh, board manager. Only one board can be searched. It's simple. Press the uh, install button to install it. It's installing and installed. Go to the board selection on the top left of the screen. The board is ready to be connected, so let's choose. Two cores, M7 and M4, are supposed to be chosen separately. The M7 is the base core, so let's select and code it first. Let me build this empty sketch file to make sure it's building well. Oops, bad luck. There is an error. It says the environment of the M7 is not a valid FQBN. I found the workaround from the GitHub of the Arduino Pro IDE. I'm gonna fix it according to his guide. One thing I wanna say is that this problem will be fixed if the Arduino Pro IDE is released officially. So if you feel any stress from here, please consider using classic version. Close your Arduino Pro IDE first. According to his guide, we need to change the folder name. Go to library, uh, Arduino folder, packages, there is an Arduino hyphen beta folder. Just rename it without hyphen. Open Arduino Pro ID again. There is another error. It says M7 is not installed. Before it installs, we need to add a URL for the additional board. Let me copy and paste the temporary URL. And go to File, Settings, Open CRI Configuration, and adding the additional URL. From the left side of the board manager, we have a new embed board for M7 and M4 even though we installed it earlier. Let's install the new one. Installing, installed. I will choose the board again. Because of the newly installed board, it seems to be a duplicated one. Choose the other one this time. Let me build this empty sketch file again. Finally, this time it works. I will simply turn on and off the built-in LED uh, every one second. It seems like this is the hello world in the Arduino world. From the Arduino Pro ID, it seems to provide autocomplete. Good, but not working properly yet. 
And I know you guys are really familiar with this code, so let's move fast. Build and unload it. This is my first build for H7. The green built-in LED turns on and off every second. I'm so happy with this. Now what we have to do is turn the built-in LEDs, which has red, green, blue, on and off on each M7 and M4 core. I'm gonna use this code for M7. Instead of green, change it to red. Let's change the interval from 1 second to 200 milliseconds. Let's build and check. It's working as you can see, cool. As I said, this build is for M7, marked here. Now let's write the code for M4, and let's make a new sketch file. I'm gonna copy and paste from the previous M7 code. And what I need to do here is to use different built-in LED and change the interval of blinking to distinguish it. Let's select the core where this code will work. Uh, it should be M4 for this code. Build and upload it. I don't know how the LEDs will flash. What? It's the same as M7. It seems like the M4 core is not working. What I missed? Well, there is an answer. The tutorial says there is a special command to boot M4. It's LLRCC4CM for boot function. The reason why they make this way is for saving power and only use it when it needs. Okay, it's shown that this is made in order to make various use cases. Let me add the special command in the M7 code. In the setup function, just add the function to boot M4. That's it. Let's build and make sure it's working properly. You can see the LEDs turn on and off independently. Each core controls its LED. That's interesting. I think we need to drill down more to use this well. This is it from today's video. Thank you and see you in the next video.